Hey, Trey, it looked like your ankle felt pretty good tonight, but how did it actually feel? I um, mean, it was um, it was numb for a little bit. I uh, put a lot of tape on it today, so I really couldn't feel it turn. Really, that's where I had the most pain. I was when I turned it, and that's not necessarily when I go forward and back. It's when I turn. So, just uh, put some tape uh, under the ankle braces, and I felt kind of numb, but it was alright. Was there? Did it take a while for you to kind of settle in, like playing with that much tape or anything? Yeah, I mean, I I used the shoot around. I used that the little uh, quick like eight ten minutes that I had uh, on the court to kind of like move a little bit, move around in it. I don't I don't wear my ankle braces, but I I, I wore my tape so. Uh, to kind of see how I felt with it and things like that. What helped you and Bogey get going so much in that fourth quarter to help really seal this win? Uh, I think just, I mean, just staying with it and just having that confidence that the next shot's going to go in. And, uh, I mean, I had that confidence all night, and I know Bogey always has that confidence. So to have that tonight and to see a couple go in, I mean, it always helps. Um, Nate said that he got word about like 40 to 50 minutes prior to the game that you would actually play. But in your mind, was there any doubt that you would actually play tonight? Uh, a little bit, to be honest. Like I, uh, I was thinking about about it on the way to the arena. Um, just understanding we had back to back too. Uh, not wanting to 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 mess it up even more. But I mean, if I felt comfortable and shoot around with the tape. That was my main thing, just wanted to, to see how it felt with the tape on it. Uh, I hadn't played in tape in a minute, so to see how that felt before I really made a decision. Obviously, when you were in Chicago, you, you played poorly that night. Um, mm -hmm. How much did you want to, you know, get back at these guys? Obviously, they're one of the top teams in the East. Oh, yeah, I mean, I owed them one. Uh, no point intended. Uh, I just feel like they, they had a, I mean, Io had a great defensive game against against us. I feel like there were some shots that I, I mean I had that were open I could have made um, against them. Um, but prior to the break, a lot of the travel, I felt like my legs just weren't there, and I, I mean I put that loss on me, and I felt like I could have been better. And so tonight I wanted to come out here and I owe my team one uh, to come get a win. If I can read lips correctly at the end of the game, I think you said he can't guard me. And you're pointing to Io. Am I is my lip reading correct? I mean, some people can read lips good, some people can't. <laughs> so I mean that's on you if you read it right. <laughs> right. I know since you've been in the league, you've done a good job playing through injuries. I'm just curious when you were real young, were you like <laughs> that too? Or was was that kind of something you had to learn along the way? Yeah, I think that's that's sometimes a problem now in the league. Like I feel like um even early in my couple of years, just a couple of injuries. I never used to tell the, the staff sometimes. There used to be times I would feel pain. I just wouldn't even, wouldn't even say anything just because I know they're, they're very cautious with guys getting injured and things like that. So I, I've always grown up playing against older guys. And when I get knocked down, my dad was always there to be like, get up, be strong. And I just always have had that mindset just as a kid. So, I mean, being small, maybe that's a mindset that I have just – I, I feel like I can play through pain and I can play through things. And um, so, I, I mean, maybe it's a good or bad thing. I had a mindset. So, uh, but it's, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like that. When you have games like this, um, do you feel like this gives you guys like the best chance to win? And, and one, one game that you feel like you should win when you do have a performance like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say that because every night is different and every night brings a different challenge. So some nights, I mean, I can have a night like tonight and I mean, us fall short sometimes and it's, it's tough and it sucks, but sometimes it's, that's just how the ball rolls. And, and, uh, but I think tonight we really dictated the game on the defensive end, um, allowing those guys to, to, I mean, making it tough on them every time they shot, um, they still made some tough shots and things like that, but just making it tough on them. And then. I think we, we did a good job of dictating how we wanted the game to go. First question on Zoom goes to Terrell Thomas. Trey, great game tonight. Uh, I'm wondering, with all about 20 games remaining, are you looking at all of these games as playoff games as you're trying to improve your seating? I'm always looking at games. I'm always, uh, throughout the season, I'm always looking at other teams play. And uh, throughout the uh, throughout the season, I, I really focus on on this game and, um, other teams and where they are and things like that. I mean, I just, I mean, I'm just a student of the game. So I love watching this game and learning as much as I can. So about different teams and things like that. So I, I'm always, I'm always watching.
And do you feel like the pressure is on now with it only being 20 games left for you guys to kind of go in playoff mode? Yeah, I mean, the pressure's been on. Uh, pressure's been on for us to, to, to keep going and, and figure this out uh, as fast as possible to get some wins. And uh, we don't have very many left in the regular season. So we got to win as many as possible, of course, and uh, try to put ourselves in the best position at the end of this thing. And with tomorrow's uh, game being a back-to-back, as you mentioned, a big game against Washington, any concern for your ankle tomorrow? Uh, no, I mean, I just I know we need to get up to, to D.C., get some rest. Um, I mean, we got, a, we got an early game tomorrow, too. It's at 7 o'clock, not 7.30. So we got to get, get up there, get some rest, and uh, be ready. Thank you. Christo Saltos. Hey, Trey, great game, great win. How big win was that for you from your perspective? I mean, any, any win is a big win for us. I think, I mean, obviously, we know who we're playing. They're one of the top teams in the East. So, um, I mean, they're a really good team. But, I mean, I always say when you get a win in this, in this league, it's always big for your team. So, um, but, yeah, of course, being a team like them is uh, with, with how high their seed is, it's uh, big. All right. Thank you, Trey. Sorry, Edwin, we had to get on the road.